Hello everyone and welcome to the Babayara Sports Stadium as we bring you the concluding fixture for match day 32 in the Ghana Premier League powered by Bet Power. It's Asante Kotoko who are at home against Karela United Football Club who've travelled all the way from Enyinase in Enyinase in the uh, Western region. Officials for this afternoon's uh, fixture lead the two teams onto the field of play and it will be Karela the visitor sporting the white and uh, smile there on Adomako's face. He's playing against his former club and former colleagues at Sante Kotoko here this afternoon. A, a win at all costs situation for Karela, but for Kotoko, they must also continue the winning spree. Well, the supporters, uh, some of them have made their way to the Babayara Sports Stadium. And I'm sure a lot more will be joining us uh, here pretty shortly. Two teams will go through the uh, pleasantries, the warm handshakes. Officials will take us through the tours. But before all that, let's take a look at how ready the two teams are well per the momentum they have now they can surprise any team but trust me he looks a, a bit pensive when having a word with him during the pre-match interviews and i'm sure he will come into the game expecting the players to fire on all cylinders dr imoro osman will be our center referee for this afternoon's game kwesi abrobe champong james asari osafo and abdul latif adari will be the officials to support him with augustine asante a bit awkward to say karela will come into the game as underdogs because they are wounded and they will really want to take three points today. Proceedings to comment here at the uh, Baba Yara Stadium. We're going to see end-to-end -end action as Asante Katoko kick us off playing from left to right. Augustine Ejepong is on uh, duty on the right-hand side of uh, defense. And have an opportunity to come forward. Ebenezer Ukran would want to see a lot of the uh, movement of the ball that comes to the near side where Amonu swings it through. And no white shirts there to challenge for it. But it's still not giving up. It's a shot on target. Oh, that was close. And it's the first opportunity going to the visitors here this afternoon at the Baba Yara Stadium. They definitely knew that they would have to get into the driving seat. Yeah. Abdul Fatal with that shot. Yeah, clever play. Brilliant display from Karela. I mean, the delivery from Mono and it's Tedeku with the header, but it, just look at the Chester, the control from Fatau to set it up for himself, but on his unfavorable left foot, he blasted wide, but it's a warning sign to Kotoko. And indeed, a warning sign to Karela as Kotoko come forward as well. Again, that was a lovely shot there on target. Safu Taylor trying to register the first goal as early as the third minute of the game, but Kotoko had a corner kick. Yeah, what a response. Brilliant play. Created the space for himself. Engineered that space and hit it with a lot of venom. Took a, a little bit of a ricochet straight onto the post. And Ganiu, not happy. Opening. Now coming through the middle and then switching play to the far side. Shot is fired on target. Randolph was close. Again, his dazzling skill from Boache. I mean, he's nimble-footed, very quality player. Look at the way he controlled the ball and skipped past a Japan to set it up for Randolph. Lovely play, but Randolph with a first control and smashed it. Always rising, though. But that's brilliant from Boachi, just to look at Randolph. Stop it. He does, but can he get to the ball? He keeps his momentum. That's good enough for Kotoko. They're expecting the drive. It comes through Zizi. Again, a point blank saved by Gani Ueno. He turns it into his own net. Rashid hard pressed on that occasion. Yeah, it's all about intensity. It's all about the pressure. And Ganyu knows there's nothing he could have done about that goal. He provided a brilliant save to stop Safa Taylor the first time. But then again, amazing play from the Porcupine Warriors. And look at the determination on the face of Ifegi. Did very well kept the ball alive and when he won the tussle against Fatau, I mean he's picking up that pass it's a visionary pass and Zeze couldn't hit it one time Safu Taylor controlled it with a foot but again amazing save but when Tereku whipped that ball across it was difficult for Mohamed to control his feet and just have to put the ball at, at the back of his net but look at the pass from Ifege Zeze couldn't hit the ball at go but Safu Taylor will smash it against the goalkeeper. Tedeko with a whip, just across, and Rashid couldn't sort off his, his feet. Sanogo. Kotoko won. Karela nil. It's almost 30 minutes gone. Rashid Mohamed done two minutes of add on time. And referee Osman has signaled the end of the first 45 minutes. 
They're ready to get us underway, and according to Dr. Imoro Osman, it's the right time to do that. Second half, and it is Karela who are now playing from left to right. It's a long ball in by Ganiyu. Now, it's Amonu, lays on the pass, a chance coming for Karela. Tidied up nicely by the young defender who had to come all the way back at Japan. Yeah, but then again, Karela probing. Lovely pass from Amunu and it's Kumi who's just trying to turn away from Al Hassan, but good recovery from Japan. Randolph will say thank you very much. Lays on the pass. Owusu finds Randolph once again. This looks good. The block came, but the eventual shot goes off target. Blocked in the process. Owusu Boache's effort. Corner kick. Lovely dummy there. Still coming forward, but again, you've got the army, the red army, back to defend. The shot is fired, but Asari will smother that easily. Yeah, it's Okran who put laces through that one, and it was building up nicely. Lovely skill from Adomako, turns away from Al Hassan, very easy. And when he set it up for Daffy, Daffy lost his footing and really set it on the plate for Okran. Okran will blast one straight into the arms of. Uh, Asari, it was an easy catch. Lamte now. Dese Mokwala is the target. He gets to the ball all right. Yaya will go with him everywhere he goes. Brings it back, finds Enoch Morrison. Richard Buedu. Buedu goes down from the tackle from Humin. And the white shirts that get the ball away. Miscommunication. But Safo fires. They done. Usu is free, goes past one, still struggling. He goes through, sets up the cross. Chance for Karela. They are back in the game. This is superb. Intelligent play. Lovely play from Karela. And Asari doesn't believe what has just transpired. But then again, the magic from Usu Buachi. Just look at the magic. Lovely skill, brilliant play, whips it across the face of goal. I guess who is getting at the end of it is Fatau, who smashed it against the Kotoko player and back into the root of the net. But what a skill from Puachi to set it up for Fatau, smashed it against the goalkeeper and it's into the net and Karela back in the game. Kotoko, a stand. Well, 15 minutes to full time, Abdul Fatau Mohamed registering a goal in this game. And it was obvious from a couple of minutes earlier that Kotoko has started leaving gaps at the back. Not too sure exactly what that strategy is, but they've paid for it. Yeah. Asante Kotoko 1, Karela FC 1. Tackle not the best. Kotoko still have the advantage, but this time he did push it on a bit too far. But Gaston Echepon still fighting. He goes down, appeals for the penalty. Referee says, let the game continue. Yeah, he's done all the hard work at Japan. Brilliant play from him, but certainly not a penalty. Referee has spotted that. Of five minutes, Kotoko laying siege on the area. Dixon Afuakwa's shot is uh, blocked. Appeals for the uh, penalty. Dr. Imoro Osman would have nothing to do with that. Karela on the offensive. It's a long surging run by Osu Buachi. He goes down. It's picked up by Richard Buedu. Kotoko will come forward once again. Buedu is leading with a lot of alacrity. And look at his reaction. The pass, that's good enough. The finish. Very woeful from Safo Taylor. That's a pass again. That's a very carefully threaded pass. And Safo, referee saw that. It's a long ball in. Ganiyu goes out for that. He looked at the bicycle kick. They know where Ganiyu comes back again. Opportunities for Kotoko by this time. It came to naught. Enoch Morrison with that long ball into. The area Gani you went up, tried to fist that out. Mukwala with the bicycle kick. The continuation by Justice Blay. The kick. And it's the last kick of the game as referee Dr. Imo Rosman brings the match to an end. Asari has a smile on his face. Karela players will uh, congratulate each other. Tough, difficult game it has been. But Kotoko 
share the points with uh, Carella. They lose or drop two points at home. Carella coming back into the game to get that face-saving goal for a draw. End of 90 minutes. Kotoko 1. Carella FC 1.